I can hear it. the internal circuit of the electric guitar and we made everything digital so what we have now what you can see here is these are instead of um, a knob attached to a, uh, attached to a potentiometer we have rotary encoders which are these knobs um, inside all inside the guitar is all the circuitry for the rotary encoders and what they do is um, each one is communicating with the microcontroller um, and the microcontroller then programs a digital uh, a digital potentiometer with the values that it receives from these rotary encoders. So from the viewpoint of the final electronics, it's still an analog system. That's right. It's a it's a just a potentiometer, but it's very precisely controlled. So essentially, all the components that used to be digi uh, analog, you know, the, the potentiometers, the tone knobs, are now digital. Okay, and what Digitally does this and what does this get you? So now the thing is, every time you know, when you're a performer, if you're a performer and if you have a guitar, mm -hmm. you've had the uh, misfortune of having to change different. Uh, pickups and having to adjust it every time that you change a pickup. So it's kind of a painful process, especially if you're, you know, in the middle of playing a song or in, you know, in a performance, and you have to, uh, you want to quickly change the uh, the settings of your guitar to get that sound that you want. So um, you can't. It's almost impossible to do that during a performance because you're playing and you can't just change and adjust the tone. Um, but with this, you can that enables you to do that with just a push of a button. Because you have presets. That's right. And so you have digital memory presets. Exactly. Right. Aha. So it basically saves all that, uh, you know, the, the, the trouble that you went through to get that sound that you want. And uh, you don't no longer have to, uh, you know, try and get back to that sound because it will save it for you. Okay, so let's see a couple of presets here. So, so what we haven't shown yet is there's an LCD uh, that we set up that's back here, if you come back here. Um, the LCD uh, would be ideally inside or close to the front of the guitar so the user can use it, like for example right here. Um, what it shows right now is it shows the preset you're on, uh, it shows the pickup, it shows the volume setting which uh, Poria is changing right now, and the two tone knob settings. Um, so if Poria presses the next button or the previous button, you can see all the presets change as he presses the button. So the delay should be only close to about 10 to 20 milliseconds total. And so as you're, what you're doing is pressing the preset button here. So right. you have a forward and back on, on the two. This is forward. Okay. This is back. Cute. Yeah. Okay, so let's hear, let's hear it do something here. That's more basic. That's that. very basic, yeah. We'll start over here. We have the user interface here where the user can see what's going on with the presets. But first, we have the, the tone knobs, uh, the previous tone knobs that are now digitally interfaced with the microcontroller here. And then we have the switch that controls the pickups. And that's also interfaced with the microcontroller. And the microcontroller controls which pickup is being used with the digital um, analog multiplexer. Um, so after we have interfaced the rotary encoders, which give digital signal to the microcontroller, we can control the uh, potentiometers and essentially replace what, here. what the tone knobs were. Those are the, the, the digital potentiometers, right, right? Right here. Gotcha. There's, uh, of course, interface circuitry inside here that we, we covered up and, uh, you know, to, to make it look nicer. Cool. So the, so the, the, the analog signal path yeah. is through the pickups directly to the... Uh, digital potentiometers and then out to the amplifier as usual. It, essentially, yeah, right. and there's, it's also connected to the analog multiplexer right. to, to do mixing and, and uh, mixing the two signals together. So the system is very quiet. I'm not hearing any 60 hertz noise. That's I don't right. hear any, right. any junk, no, no crackling. Right, so, so if, we found that if you place these wires that uh, 
that bring the pickups into the analog mm -hmm. multiplexer, if you place these wires close to the LCD screen, a lot of times you get some of that noise, and uh -huh. you'll get you'll get a 60 hertz tone coming out. Mm -hmm. um, but if we keep it far enough away, um, there's no noise. So if we were to actually put this inside the guitar, we would want to keep it at least six or seven inches away from right. So presumably wires. this would be inside the guitar, but this would be right here, right. perhaps. Or somewhere inside, somewhere you know. Inside, we have this, we have this, you know, coming, all, the, all the wires are coming out from the back. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't look as, as beautiful in the back, but you, know, you can't really tell if it's... Not from the front, yeah. yeah.